Basil Chapman, what's going on, man? Hi, Tom. How are you? This is awesome that it's virtual, Basil. Uh, yeah, the, yeah, what a difference it makes. Uh, yeah. Because now I get, I always used to get uh, emails from either subscribers or just people from listening to TFN and saying, oh, we wish we could be there over at MIT for one of these meetings. I so know. So I really do cover a lot. So and uh, this time it's virtual. So I've given the link, and I believe... Uh, uh, we've got a note here saying uh, he will put it up, and uh, there it is. Uh, so there's the link. It's join the Zoom meeting, and uh, so you know what I'll do. So let me ask this: it Is if you Google Boston Investors, will we be able to get that link also? Do you if know? If you go to Boston Investors Group, it's called BIG or Boston Investors okay, good. Group. I saw it there, and everything should be there. Okay, should be all ready for you, so you That's can join that way. And it'll be fun. Seven o'clock to nine o'clock. Uh, I'm tonight, the guest right? speaker. Yeah, tonight, and uh, that's Eastern time. And also, um, and it's the, free, right? It's free, and you can get. There just, you go, folks. Perfect. Yeah. Good. Okay. So <laughs> now let's get a preview. What are you going to be talking about? <laughs> so, you know, this is a very interesting time for a number of reasons. I mean. We've got so many cross currents here. I, I spoke to you, it was a week ago, we were talking about uh, how, how could it be that we're looking at such a strong movement in the dollar and gold at the same time. You know, you just, you just don't get that very often. Right. Yeah, you can get a count trend move, but this is a look at this, uh, go, look at this move in gold. And of course, we've been long since 2018, April of 2018, uh, saw it go all the way to 102. We went from- uh, That's the dollar, you've been 19. long, yes. Yeah, right. we went to 103, pulls back all the way, our stop held, and now we're still long. And I've treated it more as an economic emblem of, of, of the US activity more than just the dollar itself. So there's a separate thinking. Yeah, it's one of my one of the times where I'm really I'm doing technical analysis, but I'm thinking fundamentally. So I'll talk a little bit about the dollar, but also there are so many different things going on. What is the dollar? What is the uh, what are bonds going to do? This is a big move from 151.77 to today's low of 145. It's got that Eiffel Tower straight up, straight down. Uh, look to it. But it also keeps being contained. I'm going to be talking about rectangle formations like the IWM, which went for about eight months sideways. Yeah. And then all of a sudden breaks out. Well, my rule of thumb for this rectangle formation is that it becomes so powerful that no matter how, unless it's extremely far from the rectangle itself, the big pop up, Normally it breaks out and then it comes back to visit its old friends back in the rectangle formation. Yeah. That's the Russell 2000. You've got the Dow. I had I had a sell signal. We just today took profits in the uh, uh, two two hundred percent short to Dow. Uh, we got that sell signal right at um, twenty or forty points from the all time high. It dropped quite sharply, and I said if it starts to run a little too far, we want to we want to take profits. But in fact. There's a pattern that I'm going to talk about, which is the, the, the pattern I call the dreaded H, where it, it makes, I'll show it quickly here, look, there it is, makes a lowercase h straight down, runs up and then fails, and it fails usually at a peak A or a peak B, way underneath the high that was made. So this is a very important moment for the Dow. If the Dow starts to go back under 36,000, in this phase in the next couple of days, that's a negative. If it manages to rally above today's high of 36,316, I say that's really good and we could retest the highs. So this is a very important moment. I'm mean, talking about the retail. I mean, look at this, the RTH, which is the, the, this is the Van Eck Vectors ETF. 20% is Amazon and it's at an all-time high and is just coming out of this, what I call the Chapman Wave inside track a, a repellent zone. And yet the XRT, which is the uh, S&P retail without Amazon, actually at this particular moment, looks like an even better pattern. But wait a minute, patterns repeat, and there's that rectangle formation, just like the Russell 2000. So is this a momentary pop-up in the retail? Are we going to uh, sell off very soon as we go into the uh, season, the Christmas season? You know, this is a fascinating time. We've got crude oil. I spoke about this about three weeks ago. I said, you know, I think that we might have made some kind of a top here in crude. Well, it's 85.41 was the high, and yet it is stuck in a range. It hasn't made a new high, 
but it hasn't broken down. So there are a lot of things. We're fortunate for, for, our, for subscribers. We still have Thermo, Thermo Fisher, which made an all-time high today. Thermo Fisher Scientific so it says that in certain areas, um, there is still strength. We had another one. I spoke to you about this, which is Paychex, P-A-Y-X, uh, made a new all-time high by fractions from the high that it made just a week and a half ago at 125.81. It doesn't mean that it's going to slow down the upside, but it's just a fascinating period. So I've made a whole bunch of notes. We've got the semiconductors we want to talk about. You've got NVIDIA, which is really important, about to make a... Uh, where did that go? NVIDIA, which is about to make um, early, an earnings report tomorrow after the bell. And it's been a, a powerhouse. And yet, look, it made a peak D in, the, in Chapman. Wave. D's are where you've got to be a little careful. At 323.10 on the 9th, because it's gone sideways. Does it have one quick pop up because so many of these stocks have bounced to the left side high and then turned down. So there's a lot to talk about, a lot to discuss. Oh, and yeah. A couple of areas that look very interesting, having been uh, really pulled back sharply. And are they ready to balance? So what what would take the place if we suddenly got some kind of a sell off? So this is going to be very important, what we're looking at in terms of what's worked, what is working, what's still working, hasn't given any um, sell signals, but isn't really telling us much because, as I said, the XRT, this is retail at all-time highs. Um, you wouldn't really expect that after COVID so quickly to get to all-time highs in the retail area, and there it is. No so, doubt. And so it's... I don't need to cut you off, Basil, but I, I want to get people into this workshop for you tonight. Um, so, folks, this is real easy. I just put the link inside the YouTube chat room. OK, so no matter where you are in the world right now, all you have to do is this. Go to YouTube, then search TFNN Live, and you're going to see we have a whole chat room there, right? The link is right in there, OK, that you can sign up for this tonight. It's going to be a great workshop. Is it five to seven, Basil? It's seven to nine. Seven to Eastern nine. Time. Okay, so yes. it's seven to nine so Eastern Standard three, Time. Yeah, and just to say it again, it's real easy. You just go to yes. YouTube. At YouTube, yep. you're going to pull up TFNN Live, folks, okay? And you're going to see the chat room that we have, okay? And it's, it's free. So the, it, the link's in there. I'll put it in there a few more times. You can check it out. Basil, you have a great one, safe one. Of course, we look forward to the workshop tonight, man. So do I. And we always have a lot of TFNNs that come to you. Uh, do. These and things. you know what's so cool about it, as Basil said, it's a fundamental and a technical, folks. It's a grid workshop, man. It's really cool, man. You know? Thanks, man. Thank you, Tom.